hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of p if we have p divided by square root of p is equals to 2 and we solve this problem for the values of p so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root further we solve this problem for two methods I hope so you like both of these methods if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and uh, in the first method uh, here we need to move this k root of p to the right hand side and it will become p is equals to 2 times of square root of p so uh, here uh, we need to remove square root of yeah, p into the right hand side for this we will take scaling on both of the sides so when we will take scaling on both of the sides it will be written as 2 times square root of p and its whole square so here in the right hand side we uh, we apply the this square sign on both of these terms separately so it will become 2 square into square root of p and its whole square so further in the next step we have this is p square is equal to here we have 2 square becomes 4 and square root of p this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here p only okay so uh, in the next step we need to move this 4 p into the left hand side and it will becomes p square minus 4 p is equal to 0 and now you see here both of these terms involve p so that uh, we take common p from both of these terms and when we will take common p from here we get the remaining values are from here we get p minus from here we get 4 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now in the next step we need to divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write p is equals to 0 and the second case is we write p minus 4 is equals to 0 so this is the our first root of the given equation and from here we get the value of p is equals to plus 4 because when we move this minus 4 to the right hand side it will become plus 4 this is the second value of p so these are the two roots of the given equation uh, and uh, in the next step we need to verify that is both of these two roots are solution of the given equation and both of these two roots are extraneous roots so for this we need to copy down given question statement here it is p divided by square root of p is equals to 2 in this side we will be verify p is equals to 0 and in this side we will be verify p is equals to 4 so here uh, now we substitute this value of p into the given question statement and after substituting this it will becomes 0 divided by square root of 0 is equals to 2 and here we have this is 0 divided by square root of 0 becomes 0 is equals to 2 so this means that our left hand side is 0 by 0 form and we usually called it as it is the indeterminate form okay so if uh, this is the indeterminate form uh, or in other words we just say that it is undefined so if our left hand side is undefined this means that both of the sides are not equal so if both of the sides are not equal so we conclude about p is equals to 0 is that p is equals to 0 be the extraneous root of the given equation so uh, here we can clean about p is equals to 0 be the extraneous root and now here we will need to verify the second root of the given equation so we move towards the second root and here we put this value p equals to 4 into the left hand side and it will becomes 4 divided by square root of 4 is equals to 2 and we know that a square root of this 4 becomes 2 equals to 2 and you get 2 times 2 becomes 4 and we obtain here 2 is equals to 2 this shows that the value of p is equals to 4 is satisfied our given question statement so uh, we conclude about p equals to 4 is that p is equals to 4 be the solution set of the given equation so from both of these roots we get here one be the uh, extraneous root and one be the solution set
and uh, now here in the next step we again solve this problem for second method uh, for second method we need to copy down given question statement here so the given question statement is that p divided by square root of p is equals to 2 so this is the our given question statement and here uh, we here in the second method i can just give you and other smartest technique in which how you can get uh, the values of p in smartest way okay so for this here we rewrite this p as we can write p into the square root form and it will become square root of p multiplied by square root of p divided by square root of p and this is equals to 2 here we write this p as into the form of square roots and you see here this square root of p is cancelled out by this square root of p and we get the remaining values are square root of p is equals to 2. So here uh, we need to find the values of p so that we just remove this square root sign from left hand side and when we will take square root sign in the left hand side it will become this 2 and this square root are gone and we get here p is equals to this is 2 square and 2 square becomes 4 this is the value of p uh, which we get here from second method but in the first method we already verify this value of p and we check that this value of p is satisfied our given question statement so we finally conclude about that uh, 4 be the solution set of the given question so this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos